Hey everyone, I'm Gabriel. I'm a PM for the Visual C++ IDE, and I'm here with... Jim Griesmer. I'm the dev lead for native diagnostics and graphics tooling for the Visual C++ team. Cool. Jim, tell us a little bit about your history with Microsoft. I've been at Microsoft now for about uh, 18 years, a little bit under 18 years. Wow. started out with Visual C++ uh, as a tester, actually moved into development. I was doing a lot of work for the debugger itself. Um, I continued that for many, many years as a debugger dev and then eventually moved into a lead position for the debugger team and then transitioned back from the debugger into Visual C++ proper and now I'm doing native diagnostics, um, which we can discuss a little bit later, cool. and graphics tooling. So you're very much a, a C++ veteran then. <laughs> yes, very much so. Yes. Very cool. Yeah. So we're continuing our series on people's favorite things in the new Visual Studio 2013. So Jim, anything you'd like to share for yourself? First, I want to talk about what my team works on, since that's the Absolutely. best thing, thing as part of Visual Should Studio. What I work on is debugging and profiling tools for C++ or any kind of native coding that you might be doing, as well as doing graphics and or G GPU level tooling. That would include things like debugging graphical problems where you're writing DirectX and you need the ability yeah. to figure out why Pixel isn't showing up correctly. Mm -hmm. It also includes being able to, to create and build assets into your applications themselves for games. You need 3D models, you need textures or sprites or whatever. My team handles that part. Uh, I also handle the debugging aspects for the AMP tooling that we ship as part of Visual Studio. Uh, AMP is a C++ extension to allow users to make use of the GPU to do highly parallel algorithms inside their, their code. Oh, very nice. So that's what I, I generally work on. My favorite feature probably has to do with the graphics tooling itself. Okay. Um, that's what I, that really drives me. I like to work on games. I've always been very interested in that. Mm -hmm. Working, coming from a debugging background was a very, the, the semblance between graphics and games was really good for me and that's what I wanted to do. So what we ended up doing in Visual Studio 2012, the prior release, is porting a tool called Pix for Windows into Visual Studio. Pix for Windows was a tool historically created for Xbox, the original Xbox, nice. to allow graphics de uh, debugging to occur. Okay. Uh, that was ported to Windows and then we took it and ported inside Visual Studio for everybody to use. In 2013 we made some pretty big improvements to it. Uh, a lot of the improvements were done under the covers, you wouldn't necessarily see them. We made it more robust uh, architecture so that we have less trouble with crazy things that DirectX programmers might be doing that, that wasn't expected by the old tooling. We also were providing a basis for doing new features going forward. So in Visual Studio 2013, you won't necessarily see some big wholesale changes to feature sets yet, but believe me, they're coming. One of the big things that we did do in Visual Studio 2013, though, is we added support for remote debugging. So if you have a device like a Surface RT or any kind of remote machine, you can just do remote debugging to that. One of the big changes that we, we created was uh, to make the product free in the Visual Studio Express for Windows. So ah, very nice. This is something that we were was highly requested by a lot of developers since the original Pix for Windows was free as part of the SDK. Mm -hmm. um, so listening to customers, we said we need to make this free, and we did. That's good. So really happy about that. Great. Anything else you'd like to share? There's one other thing I'd like to, to note about Visual Studio that I really like seeing happen. It's, it's not a, a feature so much. It's, it's more of a behavior of Visual Studio itself. We introduced in 2012 the ability to ship quarterly basis updates. The updates contain bug fixes and in many cases contain whole new features. I'm really happy that this capability is there now and that we're continuing it with 2013 so that my tooling and anything else that we ship in Visual Studio can be updated on a much more regular basis with a lot less hassle on the customer's part. Yeah. Um, believe me, we listen to your feedback <laughs> and we incorporate it as soon as we can. For those of you out there, Look forward to the new improvements and availabilities of graphics and, sorry, was Native it Diagnostics and Graphics Native, Tooling. Yeah. Native Diagnostics and Graphics Tooling. Yeah, yeah. So, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.